Folks, I am all about chasing the bag at any chance that you possibly can get, but I gotta say, man, this is one of the craziest ones I've ever seen, one of the craziest schemes I've ever seen pulled. This one's absolutely mind-boggling to me, man, but I mean, 2020 has been a weird year, right? Like, we've seen so many crazy things happen. I just saw something yesterday. They're talking about President Trump might actually end up presidentially pardoning Joe Exotic and getting him out of jail, so I mean... I'm not even sure whether at this point I should be surprised what happens this year or not. I'm almost certain we live in a simulation, man. There ain't no way that everything that's been going on, all these wacky stories and whatnot can be real, dog. But you guys probably know who Belle Delphine is, right? I mean, especially if you use the internet a lot, if you're on YouTube a lot and whatever. And for those of you living under a rock, okay, Belle Delphine is a young woman who basically has jumped on this whole OnlyFans wave, right? Which has kind of had like this massive jump in like the last few years, right? Where... Every woman pretty much thinks at this point that they're like an amateur porn star and they are, you know, selling their nudes and whatnot, right? So she's one of the most popular OnlyFans models. I actually don't even know. She might be the most popular OnlyFans model. I really don't know the whole statistics on that whole thing, what's going on with all that. But even beyond just OnlyFans, she's become like really relevant in online culture. She's like the stereotypical gamer girl or whatever, and, you know, she's been on all these different shows and podcasts, and YouTubers have made countless videos about her. And so with all that kind of going on, she's built up, like, this cult-like following, right, over time, because a lot of people find her attractive, a lot of people are just kind of watching the business moves. Some people are on both, you know what I'm saying? So with all this kind of going on, she's built up this big following and whatnot, and she's also kind of known as probably the only girl in human history who's been able to sell out of her own bathwater. So, uh, yeah, that, that was a thing. She was charging, like, 24 euros for a bottle of her bathwater that she quote-unquote played in, and people bought it up, man. That stuff sold out, so... She's kind of like the queen at catching a bag. I know a lot of people get mad at her and they they hate her because, you know, she makes OnlyFans content and whatnot and they think that she's got it, you know, easy. She lives on recruit difficulty or whatever all the memes on the internet say. And while, yeah, it probably is pretty, you know, easy compared to like physical labor and whatnot, I really can't hate on someone catching the bag, on someone who's out here taking advantage of a market opportunity, man. I mean, as long as there's demand for it, someone's always going to supply it, bro. You can't really get mad, you know what I'm saying? At least I can't really be mad about it because I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. If I was a hot female, I'd be doing the same exact thing too, so. But with all that, you know, that, that seems almost normal now, right? Because we've seen it happen, it's come and gone, we know what happened, right? But now this chick is talking about selling the condom that will be used in her first quote-unquote kinky video. All right, so if that's not disgusting enough, let's go ahead and jump even deeper into this entire story, this whole subject, I guess. So, Belle Delphine has basically come out and said that she's going to be releasing her first, uh, uh, nudie video? That don't, her first porn, okay? YouTube's finna snipe me for that one, bro. I'm about to get demonetized. Y'all better leave a like, so... She's releasing her first porn on Christmas, right? You know, all the fellas, you know, you already know, bro. We're gonna be lined up in the Discord call. We're gonna have the sausages out, bro. Mics muted. We're gonna be doing a play-by-play -play review afterwards, dog. A couple hours of just straight up inspecting the footage for everything we can get out of it, bro. We're all gonna be sitting there. We're, we're all gonna be exhausted. We're gonna need a Gatorade break. Nah, I'm just playing, hopefully. But anyway, with that being said, like, this is weird, right? Because... It's not really weird that she's doing this video, you know? This isn't anything new. A lot of chicks on OnlyFans do stuff like this, and she's gonna make so much money from it that it's ridiculous. But th the thing that I find weird is her selling the fucking condom that will be used in said video. So obviously, dude's gonna strap up and he's gonna go to war, right? And that that's how this whole thing's gonna happen. So first and foremost, salute my man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy. He's out here doing his thing, right? That That's pretty pimp, but... Then we're talking about this man's cover, I guess we could say, being sold, okay? I don't know if this is just me or if uh, maybe y'all are going to agree with what I'm saying here, but what kind of sad fucking person do you have to be to buy a used condom, bro? I'm, gonna, I'm Okay, let me tell you the two times that I've ever seen a used condom that was not my own, right? Number one, me and some friends were walking in a parking lot, a Walmart parking lot at that, and we saw one, like, all shriveled up on the ground, and it was full. I think we can, uh, claim it to be that, so that was enough to almost throw up. And then the other time that I saw one, I was walking through University Campus, and it was on the sidewalk out front of one of the frat houses. Not a total surprise that happens, but those are the only two times I've ever seen 
anyone else is like their used uh, discarded piece, right? So with those two uh, very traumatic experiences under my belt, I can honestly tell you, bro, I would never want to see a third. And I, I would definitely never purchase one from somebody, bro. Like, imagine this transaction going down in real life, right? Like, some fucking weirdo shows up. He's like, yo, you got the used condom? And he's, like, looking around. He, like, pulls out the money. You know, they, they do a little transfer, a little purchase there, bro. If that shit happened in real life, someone would get smacked in the face. You know what I'm saying? Yo, can I buy one of your used condoms, bro? This dude would get hit in the mouth. This is definitely some internet shit, bro. So, she ended up saying on a YouTuber Jackmate's happy hour podcast i've never watched this uh she said and i quote so i haven't recorded my first porn video yet i'm very nervous for it i'm very excited for it i've got loads of feelings about it because it's all new to me i haven't done this before so i wanted to say like right if i'm doing it i might as well sell something funny because that's something i want to do in my online adventures i try to sell weird things because it's funny she then claimed uh, she she's going to end up setting a price on this. She doesn't know the price yet, but she's going to end up setting it. And then uh, this Jack guy ended up saying she should basically put it up for auction, which is both a wonderful and a terrible idea at the same time, depending on which camp you kind of fall in here with this whole subject. Now, if you're for her chasing the bag, this is a great idea, bro, because you already know some sad fuck is going to ramp this up, bro. Somebody whose grandpa died early, so he's just got that inheritance money sitting in his wallet, you know, nothing better to do with it. He's not going to go invest it. He's not going to use it to get some bitches in real life or anything crazy like that. I shouldn't say that. He's not going to try He's not going to try and get any women with it in real life. He just got that money sitting around for some nefarious fucking purpose, bro. You already know he's going to ramp up like a... You, I've seen some eBay things go like this, bro. Like them Szechuan sauce cups, bro. That were probably like 13 cents at McDonald's with chicken nuggets. And you had people buying them for like $15,000 because they liked Rick and Morty that bad, bro. Now we're talking about like our primordial instincts, you know, sexual instincts, bro. People are going to be, I'm telling you, dog, no exaggeration when I say this, if this used condom sold for anywhere upward of $25,000, I would not be surprised. If some just sad motherfucker with his anime body pillow, crusty, smelling like spilled milk, a hole drilled through the crotch part of it, he's got like a little like anime waifu boob, uh, like hand rest for your keyboard and mouse, bro. He's got like torn crusty posters on his wall of like anime girls and whatnot, bro. If someone like that dog ended up capping up and, and, and just buying this, bro, making himself look like a fool, I would not be surprised whatsoever, dog. In fact, that's who I expect to make this purchase. Because, I mean, do you think, like, fucking Bill Gates is going to buy this, bro? Do you think, like, Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk are about to step out of their wildly successful and lucrative careers and lives? to buy a fucking Belle Delphine used condom. I'm going to go ahead, if I'm a betting man in Vegas, I'm going to put 95% of my shit on no. So we've already got this concept, right, where th this is going to happen. It's not a, hey, this could happen, it would be funny. This is going to happen. Someone is going to buy a used condom just because it's been in this chick. And, and that's the weirdest part of it to me, right? It's like, this thing is going to be in this chick for however long, right? And then someone wants it specifically because of that, bro, which... I just, I don't understand, man. And I mean, at a certain point, you can't even argue like, oh, I did it for the meme anymore, dog. Because, bro, you don't spend God knows how much this thing's going to cost. Even if she sets a price on it, it's going to be an expensive-ass used condom, dog. Anything over one cent or free is an expensive-ass used condom. But someone's going to like, you can't say it's a joke if you spend 30 grand on this, right? That, that ain't a joke. Like, that's just sad. But I mean, hey, you know what? And then on the other side, I can see why people are mad about this. Like, bro, why am I working 40 hours in a factory and women on the internet can literally just sell a used condom because it's been up in them? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would be mad too, bro. Like, I'd probably be on suicide alert to keep it a buck fifty with you. But that's kind of the debate that a lot of people have about this specific subject, right? I can't be mad at her. I think I'm more mad at the person who's going to buy it because not only are you encouraging this, but bro, what are you doing, dog? Like, give me your money if you really got that much money to just be blowing, right? Like, I, I, I'll use a check, okay? Uh, you can write it out to my name and institution. I'll give you the routing info. We'll get this thing settled. You go ahead and get me some money in my account, bro. But I can't be mad at her. I mean, look, dog, if I could make 30 grand just by selling a used condom, probably I would. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's low-key out here creating markets that I didn't even know people wanted to exist. You know what I'm saying? She's out here selling things that I did not think were sellable. Like, she could sell shit to flies at this point, bro. It's insane. Like, the things that she's pulled off in the business world, when you look at them from a business standpoint, it's nuts. Fuck that. It's nuts, no testes, okay? Like, it, it just, it's low-key impressive because no one else really, I feel like, well, I mean, obvious exceptions, 
you know, if Tiana Trump was out here selling some used condoms, people would probably buy them too. But like, you ain't never going to see a man unless it's like Channing Tatum out here selling this, right? You're not going to see the average dude who lives on a fucking pizza roll diet and works at Best Buy, bro. You're not going to see him selling this, right? Like, it's just incredible to me, like how good and bad the internet is, right? Like the internet has advanced humanity beyond any level, pretty much any other really invention has actually done. We're able to communicate with one another instantly from pretty much anywhere in the world. We can learn pretty much any information we've ever found out in humanity's history with a simple Google search, okay? But then on top of that, you got chicks out here doing this, creating new industries for fun. Like, bro, all I'm gonna say, do not catch me, you will not catch me, I guess I should say, buying the Belle Delphine condom. So with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubtaOptimus. Make sure to check out ShopOpti down below. Thank you to my channel members, your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well, definitely not buying this, and signing out.